So as Mopar owners, it's bad enough that we have to watch our back when we take these cars out anywhere. Um, you know, just living life with these cars. We can't take them to the movies, can't do anything with these particular cars as far as take them to the mall, all the type of stuff because people like to steal these cars. But, but this video is not about Mopars being stolen. Um, apparently now we can add to the list of things you cannot do to your Mopar and that thing is taking your Mopar to a Cars and Coffee event. Mopars are now banned um uh, from attending cars and coffee let's talk about the situation uh <laughs> this is wild but let's get into it let's drop the intro Today's video is brought to you by CarLock, the world's best vehicle tracker and alert system. With CarLock, you'll be able to track your car real time, get alerts if anything suspicious happening to your car, such as your car is starting when it shouldn't be starting, any vibrations. Also, if someone decides to unplug your car lock from your car, you'll get a notification for that too. You deserve that peace of mind and make sure you get your car lock. I do have a discount code for you guys shown on the screen right now. Get 10% off your purchase as well as 14 days free trial with the as well with that same discount code, man. Get your car lock. You deserve that peace of mind. Let's go ahead and get it to the video. YouTube family, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Thank y'all so much for tuning in to this particular video. If y'all new here, we do a lot of car related things on this particular channel. If you like cars, you are in the right place. So make sure you lock in and subscribe to the channel. And if you've already done that, I want to appreciate y'all for locking in and rocking with me on this YouTube thing. We will not hold you too long. Let's go ahead and get into the topic of today's video. You see the title and you see the thumbnails. Mopar owners get a bad, um, get, get a bad reputation because of some of the people that's in the community and things of that nature. People get fed up with it and they want to take action against Mopar. So that led to, um, in Houston, Texas, they have a monthly cars and coffee event like many other cities do. And some things happened there and it got to a point where the event owners uh, decided to not shut down the event, but ban particular car models from even participating in the particular event. Now, I'm going to put the thing up here uh, so y'all can see what they posted. So pretty much they said due to the actions and whatnot, they are banning Chargers, Camaros, and Mustangs from participating in the event. Uh, they said the owners can come, but you cannot bring your cars to the particular event. Um, now, based on this message, uh, the revving and the burnouts and stuff of that nature, I, I want to dive into see exactly how bad did it get that they went to only banning particular cars. Now, in my experience, I, I know people got banned. Um, I know they shut down the event for everyone, but this is the first time I've ever heard of the event organizers going out and saying we're just going to ban particular cars from coming so i checked out about four or five different cars and coffee videos from houston texas here uh, from this particular location and uh this is what i uncovered this is kind of what i saw that happen um as far as camaros are concerned um i think i saw maybe one camaro do some sort of a burnout he lined up with the volkswagen jetta and they was gonna like they took off like it was gonna race but it didn't race like the the, the volkswagen took off and then the camaro took off and do it did a burnout as far as mustangs are concerned uh i noticed that uh there was a uh red v6 mustang that was doing burnouts through the intersection uh quite a few times uh i noticed it was like a black mustang he was sitting uh coming out of the event about to turn left he was revving his car then someone came up to the car and i think they told him to stop i guess it was one of the event workers told him to stop and he stopped or whatnot and then i saw another red mustang that was sitting at the light he was off on the main road he revved his car a few times and, and that was kind of that now the black Hellcat Charger wide body, um, he was wilding, um, to say the least. He was wilding, wilding. Burnouts through the intersection multiple times, donuts. Um, there was some more smoke and stuff going on down the road that I really couldn't see from the videos I saw. But I'm going to assume that he was the biggest offender of the no burnout rule because um, he did not care. Because of that, the event organizers went ahead and banned those three particular cars. Not just the owners of those cars, anyone that has a car like it. So if you have a Charger, you can't go. I don't think it matters what engine's in it. 
no Camaros, no Mustangs, no matter the year or anything like that. If you do have a Challenger, you are good. Well, the event organizers also said that they will let the, they will lift the ban on these particular cars from coming to the event once they identify who was uh, the people doing it. They're working with the local police to do so. Now, in my opinion, um, I feel like this should not be that hard to do because um, I, like I said, I watched several videos and those are really the only cars that I saw do anything. I'm not sure if there were some other things that happened at this event that caused them to want to go out and ban these particular cars. But I, I, I definitely think they should only go after the particular cars that were doing the things, um, especially the Charger. Now I looked at several videos and his tag is clear as day in the video. I saw the, I saw the whole tag um before all the clouds of smoke and stuff went crazy so there it's out there people have the tag number for these particular cars and from my standpoint I, it does suck from someone you know uh, i mean i know i'm not in houston or anything i'm not in texas or whatnot but it does suck for those that have those particular cars that like to go out there and just enjoy the different cars i know for me when i go to cars and coffee yes i do show a lot of mopars and stuff on the channel but i also try to look at i don't try to look i do look at some of the other cars if i see something rare um even if i see other chargers other camaros out there um seeing mustangs out there i show them love and show them on the channel especially if it's a dope clean build but it, it's definitely not fair for those that don't get down like that like i i know uh, people that drive these type of cars they get wild and whatnot but i also know people that own these cars that don't get down like that or anything they baby these cars they only bring them on the weekends um they don't do any burnouts or anything like that they just really just cruise their cars take them to the shows leave the shows and put them back up so that does suck for them but does banning these particular cars from the car meets actually show or from cars and coffee does that actually solve the particular problem and it's about thought i don't think it really solves it now in the videos when i was watching the video for what was going on why they caused this ban um the biggest thing that i noticed uh, they, they said the revving was getting excessive and things like that i personally only saw the mustang revving um i'm not sure some other stuff happened during the car event that other people were revving but i did notice when i was watching the videos revving in the background and it definitely did not sound like american v8s it sounded like some exotic cars revving um which brings me kind of to the, to my next point yeah granted you go to a car show people with these particular cars do cut up maybe more than the next person does but i have also seen and been to enough car events where i've seen other people in other cars do the same thing does it make it right no but um that just drives the point home it doesn't matter the type of car you can get down and dirty with anything i've seen everything from pickup trucks i've seen everything from um nissan 350z's in fact one actually wrecked that at cars and coffee here in charlotte um if y'all don't know about the one in charlotte it got banned for almost a year just about it got canceled like they had one in february and we didn't have one until september so it was going the whole summer so i get the organizers trying to protect the event and also on top of that i've been to enough like of these exotic car events where i've seen some people with the exotics do some kind of wild stuff as well i put up to one like a exotic car meet maybe a few years ago things like that even recently they're revving their cars just as much they're peeling out of you know down the road doing flybys things of that nature seen one actually do donuts in the middle of the intersection won't say who it was or what kind of car it was but if you're in the area you can probably know exactly who i'm talking about because they wild out a lot of course it's, it's an exotic car or a rare car so i guess they get a pass right we don't really care if that happens but it but you can't do it in, you can't do it in the common folk car you can't do it in the chargers and the challengers and stuff like that because that's a no-no but nonetheless i want to make sure i get my point across here um it doesn't make it right to do it at the car event like i know i film burnouts and things of that nature um you know if you want to go out to an empty parking lot want to go back behind like an empty warehouse and do it like that you know by all means have at it but you know at these cars coffee events a little bit different where you can't you can't sit there and let loose like that there's already cops out there on watching everything and, and these event um organizers right they put a lot of time into finding particular locations good locations to have these type of events and they don't want to hurt that relationship with the people that own the property so if you got people acting wild and things like that of course they're going to do something to shut it down and 
like prevent things like this happening going forward because they don't want this event to get shut down i love cars and coffee events one of my favorite events to attend um in my area and it sucked that it got shut down for almost a whole year here um and you know and, and i and i get the, the event organizers didn't you know it got stuff got out of hand they got really out of hand here they they counted it for everybody they didn't go out there particular models of cars and things like that um they counted it for everybody in houston they like i said they just went out their particular cars and regardless if you were involved or not in your particular car you got to impact it like i would i would be kind of you know mad that i have a charger and i can't go to cars and coffee because someone else in the charger decided to do a donut but anybody else can go, but I can't go in my car, right? So that leads me to another thing here, right? Um, all the stuff that I saw happening at this particular Cars and Coffee, even the local Cars and Coffee here, the stuff that led to it getting banned, the stuff that they did not want to happen did not actually happen inside the event itself. Now, again, I'm not saying that was all right for that stuff to happen. I'm just telling you where it happened. A lot of stuff that happened actually happened outside of the event. It happened on the road in front of the event right only thing that really happened on the property that i noticed was the mustang that was revving um now there could have been some other stuff that happened on the property that i didn't see but from the four or five videos that i saw everything happened outside of the event so if you're going to ban these cars for participating in an event how does how that's going to work because to me it looked like most of the cars that were doing these type of things wasn't there to participate in the event they were there just to show off anyway they didn't come in and park the cars that i could tell maybe they did but they didn't they didn't do burnouts in the event they didn't appear to rev their cars in the event that i could tell they wasn't doing burnouts in the event they all that stuff happened outside the event so how do you police that you know how do you police that going forward because you can't stop someone from doing a burnout or wilding out in front of the event it's a public road. Like for example, I could say, hey, don't come in my driveway doing a burnout. But if you drive down the street in front of my driveway and do it, you're not in my driveway, you're in the street. I can't stop that, right? How do you police that? I do feel that someone could go down there and retaliate. Like they, someone could feel some type of way and be like, you know what, they don't want us there, that's cool. I'm gonna go there anyway. I'm gonna go in front of the event and do all the burnouts and donuts that I wanna do. Now, if you wanna take a chance on, with the cops there, and you, you have that's between you and them. But nothing stopping that part from happening that still can impact the event right i saw some of the comments uh, uh under the post and a lot of people were happy that these cars got got banned they're like we don't want to see these everyday cars anyway things blah 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 or whatnot you know personally with me like i said when i go to cars and coffee I, i'm there to, i'm there to see everything i mean granted i'm gonna show the mopars and stuff love but i'm there to see everything mustangs camaros don't matter um old school rides trucks it don't matter as long as it looks good clean unique I'm, I'm gonna put it on camera and i'm gonna talk about it maybe talk with the owner and stuff like that the fact that people are, are saying but they don't want to see everyday cars i mean not everyone is going to have a a half a million dollar car that brings in cars and coffee most people are going to bring regular cars you can just go to any dealership and buy that that's kind of what the beauty of cars and coffee is it doesn't matter how much your car is it's just kind of whether you did zero to it or where you did a lot to it. It's just kind of just showing off and talking, getting with the other car owners, stuff like that. So that's the situation here. I mean, I know a lot of people are like, well, if you buy a certain car, you got to take the bad that comes with it. And, and to be honest, yeah, I get there's stereotypes out there and things like that when it comes to particular cars. But in this situation, when it's really easy to tell who was doing this stuff um, and they decided not to go that route and just ban everybody. To me, it feels like they wanted to ban Camaros from coming. They wanted to ban the Chargers from coming. They wanted to ban the Mustangs participating in these particular events. They wanted to do that. They just needed a good reason to do it. And they got their reason because the people was acting out or whatnot. And so they got their, they got their wish. They got a chance to ban those particular cars. Um, and like I said, it does suck for those that don't do that type of thing that go out there, just hang out, enjoy the cars and whatnot. But those are my thoughts on this particular situation here. Like I said, I, I'm not in Houston. I'm nowhere close to Houston. Um, I'm not in that area. Um, but, you know, the fact that they took this type of action, it's, it's kind of a big deal. I see a lot of people talking about it. Um, they, there's like new, there's like articles out about it and whatnot. But it, it's definitely... It, it hits me because of the fact that if I was down there and I have a Mopar, I can't go enjoy this car event with my car because of the fact that 
someone else with a car like mine decided to wild out and things like that. Even though they got the tag number, they still want to come at all the owners of these particular cars. But that's my thoughts on it, man. Let me know your thoughts and, and whatnot. I know I put this on my community post uh, maybe a couple days ago, depending on when this video dropped. Um, want to see what you guys think about it. Um, if you got a Challenger, you're good. Um, if you have, it, as long as you, you can't show up in the Charger, but all the other Mopars are good to show up, but not, not the Charger. The Charger is the no-no. That's the car you can't pull up in. Um, but like I said, let me know what you think in the comments below about this situation. And if you made it this far in the video, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We do a lot of car-related things. We talk cars and all that type of stuff on this particular channel. We like to have you around for the long haul. As always, thank you all for tuning in. We will catch you on the next video. We are out. Thank you.